What's up everyone, this is Cybernet 8610 bringing you some Yu-Gi-Oh! news today, and some kind of odd Yu-Gi-Oh! news, really. Uh, there's been a card that is evidently worth 12 million dollars. Yes, <laughs> you did not have to re-listen to that. Yes, it is true. 12 million dollars is what I said. I, I can't believe it either. Uh, anyway, it is supposed to be one of the first uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament prize cards, of course, over in Japan. And evidently this card's not even printed on paper. It's printed on uh, stainless steel even, which is kind of odd, but it is a Black Luster Soldier, the picture that you're seeing, you know, right there, as a normal monster with 3,000 attack and 2,500 defense, and on the writing part of it, because it didn't have an effect, it says, uh, a powerful warrior with the same capabilities as the legendary Blue Eyes White Dragon. See, that's a really awesome card, I mean, you know, but uh, what's kind of odd is there is only supposed to be one of these in the world. Now, remember a long time ago I made a video talking about the rarest card in the world being a Tyler the Great Warrior. Well, the rumor is that on that, uh, whenever the person gets the card, you know, the printed card of that one, well, Konami and uh, Four Kids also are the ones, I believe, that got a copy of the card as well. So that would make three of those cards. Well, on this one, there truly is only one, and then there's a few replica ones. But there really is only one that is 100%, you know, the real card. And uh, it's for sale, evidently, now. <laughs> it's it's on a Japanese website. It's, it's going for, let's see... Uh, Let's see, it's going for 999 million, uh, eight, 800 yen? <laughs> it, it's just such a weird number, which basically equals up to around uh, 12 to 13 million dollars in the U.S. money, you know. So you can uh, change that into any other currency if you want, but that's the actual price they're trying to sell it for on this store. I'm not going to show the store on this video, but you can go to the store if you want to see the card for yourself, and it's there's a link right there. I'll also have a link, of course, in the video description. But yes, I just kind of want to talk about this card because... <laughs> there has never been a card that's been worth this much. It's crazy. You know, wouldn't you love to get this card? I mean, I know, of course, after this video gets a little older, too, we're going to have a thousand people saying they have the card, but no, this store is the only one that has it. So, and first off, who would be crazy enough to pay that much for a card? I mean, I know it's awesome, and I like to collect cards and everything, as you can tell by my channel, but, oh my gosh, even if I had that much money to spend like that, that's just so much money. <laughs> that's just crazy. That's like a lotto ticket in a card form. But yeah, what do you guys think about all this? You know, even uh, prize cards aren't worth this much. At most, a prize card might sell for a thousand at most, and maybe not even that. So yeah, what do you guys think? You know, like I said, compared to other cards, there really is only one of this one that is real. And uh, it's even, I guess, rarer than uh, Tyler the Great Warrior. So if you want to go by those standards, and it's a really awesome card. Unfortunately, though, it supposedly cannot be played, you know, even if you actually did have the card for the fact that Black Luster Soldier was also released as a ritual monster. I have a whole little write-up thing about it right there if you want to read about it, but basically it was printed as a ritual monster, so that pretty much makes it where this card is, you know, not legal for tournament play at all. So yeah, but it would still be awesome to have, but like I said, that price is just... I don't even know what to say about that price, that's just like crazy. It, <laughs> good luck to them selling that card, that's all I have to say, because there is no way. I, ha I really do not think they are going to sell that card anytime soon, anytime this century even. But yeah, please tell me what you think, and uh, basically, and I know some people are going to say this too, a card's only worth what you can actually get for it, and yeah, I kind of doubt they're going to be able to get their 12 to 13 million. But like I said, tell me what you guys think. This card would be awesome to have, you know, uh, printed over here, and you know, as an actual card, you know, mass-produced card, and be able to use it too, because a normal version of Black Luster Soldier just looks, just looks awesome. I mean, yeah, and even being printed on metal, I, I guess, I mean, don't quote me on this, but it might be the only one that's even printed on metal. So yeah, that's that's pretty neat as well. But yeah, please tell me what you guys think. And I just wanted to share this with you guys because I was just, you know, I thought it was just absolutely crazy. So yeah, and I'll have a link, like I said, in the description. If you want to read about it, I'll have the whole write-up that I kind of wrote a little thing about it and give you guys some info. And also, I'll have a link to the store where you can check it out for yourself. It's a Japanese store, so everything's Japanese. But if you have, like, Google Chrome or, you know, some kind of translator in your web browser, I don't know if the others... I'm sure Firefox or something has something like that, too. I use Google Chrome, so it does that. So uh, it should translate it for you. So anyway, I think that's everything. Thanks for watching, and <laughs> I wish I had this card. That's like a freaking lotto ticket right there. <laughs> I could buy cases easily. So thanks for watching, you guys. I'll catch you guys later. See ya.